Welcome to another unit in this course on economics. This time I'm going to talk about the effects that fiscal policy has in the context of the ASAD model. In this context, fiscal policy means government activities, so either government expenditures or taxes. And we can also differentiate between expensive policy, which in this case means an increase in government expenditures or a decrease in taxes, and restrictive policy, which would be the exact opposite. And here we're going to take a look how, in particular, expansive fiscal policy affects the equilibrium situation in the ASAD model. We're only doing the expansive perspective because the restrictive perspective would be the exact opposite of this. So you can simply flip the arguments around. Also, we need to consider here, what is the current situation we're talking about? Are we talking about short-term developments or long-term developments, or rather situations where the production potential is fully employed or not yet fully employed? We're going to see about this in a moment. So let's start with the simple ASAD model. And here, our equilibrium, so the point where AD and AS curve meet, is in the short-term part of the AS curve, so the SRAS curve. This area, meaning our economy, hasn't yet achieved the, its full production potential. And it's only starting at this point. Well, now that we have fiscal policy means one party in our economy will consume more. This could either be the government via government expenditures or this could be households or companies via taxation. Because if the government spends more expensive policy, meaning more money is actually flowing to the companies, more goods are consumed, are consumed by the government. If the government decreases taxes, independent of whether the taxes are decreased for companies or for households, they have more money available either for additional consumption or via the companies for additional investments. So in either case, any of the two parties will also consume more. So independent of which type of fiscal policy actually happens, there will always be a decrease, an increase in consumption, increase in demand. So the AD curve will move to the right. We get a new AD curve with a new equilibrium with a higher price level and a higher GDP. However, this will only be possible, especially the GDP effect, will only be possible until we reach this vertical area here. Because then we achieved full production potential. So at this point, we cannot grow anymore. Cannot grow in the sense as employ more of what we have available. We then need additional investments to really expand the economy, but that's not part of the ASAD model. So that's our new equilibrium. We get an increase in prices, so inflation and economic growth. Now let's consider the situation that we already are here in the vertical area. So we are starting down here, but we could similarly start a bit up here. So in either case, we're at this point Everyone has a job, every machine is fully employed, producing its maximum. So we cannot actually use more of the available factors we have. If then our demand will increase, independent of which party, again would mean we have a rightward shift of the AD curve. In this case, AD curve will shift to the right, we get a new AD curve, we get a new equilibrium. However, in this equilibrium, we're only moving upwards. So we're staying on the same curve, meaning GDP remains the same. 
but with a significantly higher price level. Meaning the whole effect our fiscal policy will have in this situation is it will increase inflation. Which also makes sense because there will be less goods available if people consume more. If goods are, or fewer goods are available, the price for goods will increase because they become rare. So we will have price increase, we will have inflation. So in this situation, we only have inflation, but no economic growth. So in this context, we would need other types of policies to actually expand the economy, actually induce real economic growth. So in other words, to actually move the AS curve to the right. Well, that's then already everything there is to say regarding fiscal policy in the ASAD model. So I hope you enjoyed the session. I'm saying goodbye and see you next time.